Hi, my name is Hi. Rule Time, <laughs> and I am here with Tanya Clark, the amazing actor that played as Nicole Brennan in Dead Space 2 and Remake, along with some other projects before that that we'll also touch on too. But uh, I'll, uh, I've done enough rambling, so I'd love to hear from you, Tanya. And uh, how did you get started? In as an actor? Um, hmm. I guess the long and the short of it is uh, I was obsessed with Olivia Newton-John <laughs> young. I was a really, really shy kid and uh, mortified that that's what I really wanted to do. But it, and so I really kept it to myself. And uh, but when I left high school, um, I was I was born in Chicago. I was uh, raised, though, in Ottawa, Canada. And um, so when I left high school, I moved to New York after traveling for a year. And um, wow. And uh, did stage for 14 years, following uh, following landing there, and um, wow. and then 14 years after being in New York and doing um, a lot of off off Broadway, off Broadway, regional Broadway, yeah. um, I found my way to Los Angeles, which was the last place in the world I ever anticipated, <laughs> and like you know, prerequisite as a former New Yorker, you're supposed to hate it here. And of course I did initially, but then I've grown to love it. <laughs> so I've been here now about 16 years, I guess. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's incredible. Um, yeah. what, what was it like doing Broadway for a while before you kind of um, moved into? It was, projects? uh, it, well, it was, it was, you know, I mean, just the fact that it, it was amazing. I mean, it was just the fact that you could be in your the town that you live in and get a decent paycheck doing theater. Um, yeah, because I was never a singer or a dancer, so it became slightly limited for for me in terms of what you could uh, do stage wise on a on a large platform like that. Um, yeah, but it was great because we toured it first. Uh, we did a play called "I'm Not Rappaport" with uh, Jed Hirsch and Ben Vereen, and directed by uh, Daniel Sullivan. And um, we toured that for I don't know nine months or something before we brought it. Uh, we did the revival, re the uh, revival of that play. So oh. it was, anyway, it was great. Long story short, it was it was it was fantastic. It was just it's great to have a place to go every night, and uh, so your day begins like at. 7 30 yeah. p.m and it's a sort of a vampire lifestyle and um it's fun <laughs> when you're young it's fun you know did you uh did you learn how to like uh, and that probably built up a lot of confidence too like getting up on stage yeah i i feel like i i the that part i got more from doing a lot of regional theater playing like because yeah. I didn't have a huge role in this play, so it was playing larger roles in, in regional theaters because regional theaters tend to have very large houses as well. So you could be playing in front of like a thousand people in a in a, in, in a regional show, and that's not that abnormal. So I think I got my like feet legs, I guess, more like doing that. Um, wow. Yeah, but it was. Uh, it was uh, it was a great experience, and it was a great experience to do a play for that length of time because, yeah. you know, just being in the, in the wings. Um, and in this case, I was on stage a lot, just not always engaging, but I was always I was often on stage and just listening to the dialogue over and over and over, and um, just picking up on the nuances and the intricacies and the detail within within which like a, 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 a an, an incredible playwright, um, the attention that to that that playwright can give to a piece yeah. of work is is such a fantastic experience. I feel really lucky to have uh, been a part of that. Yeah, I can imagine. Yeah, especially with um, uh, getting on stage in front of a bunch of people. I know I couldn't do it. Honestly, I feel like I'd I don't know if I could do it anymore either. <laughs> no, uh, no, if they came back, we're like, you could I don't do it. know. Oh, I don't know. I, a friend of mine was just talking about being an understudy on some Broadway show right now. And I, I as she's even mentioning it, I, my stomach started to churn because it's, it's, yeah. it, it's terrible. You know, if you've gone up on lines before, which I mean, if you've done hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of shows over, the course of years that's going to happen at some point 
It's right. just, it, 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 it's in your DNA. It, 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 like it lives in your body. And so it just, I feel like the older you get, it gets worse and worse. <laughs> so I don't know. Like the last play I did was about five. It was right before my daughter was born. It was like five, six years ago. And Aww. um, yeah, it's, it's, uh, but it was in, it was in LA. It was like this tiny little theater. Yeah. Um, it was a two handed play. And, uh, I almost threw up every single night before. Oh, <laughs> it, was it was yeah, and it was yeah. That's the most exhilarating, connected feeling. You know, I mean, when you're up yeah. there and you're doing it and you're in it, it's there's nothing like it, and it's the absolute best. But right. it's the build up that I create in my mind about what could or could not happen yeah. up there when you're up there. It that uh, that I. <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel yeah. like the way you describe it it's like a roller coaster you know how you like yeah. going up on a roller coaster and you're like god i could die on this thing yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. but yeah. then when you're on yeah. it it's fun <laughs> it's the best it's there's nothing like it yeah like there's, there's that connection wow. between the audience and the actors ah <sighs> it can it just, take your breath away yeah just incredible um well, yeah. I know that you moved on from Broadway and did some TV shows. Like, how did you transition into like moving into like TV or some movie projects? Um, well, I really it was just coming to LA, and that's you know what what's done here more than anything. And yeah, I that happened. I was doing a, a small play up in Cape Cod when I was still living in New York, and. It's such a weird story, right? Like that Ben <laughs> Affleck mom and dad or what? what was it? Mom and stepfather or something. Anyway, uh, uh -huh. came to see the play. They were friends with the director. I think that's how it worked. And Whoa. then then the director talked to he he worked at he was a teacher or a professor at Harvard and he mm. had taught Ben or no Matt Damon. Uh -huh. I don't know. So they knew each other or something like that. And so Ben was doing a, a pilot out in LA and um, this director that I'd worked with referred me. And so they flew me out to LA. It was so strange. It was strange. It was back in the day when there was only answering machines, like that cell phone <laughs> like, like a while ago. And um, had to send text and, by tax by fax. <laughs> yeah. It's actually not even that long ago, right? Like it was probably like 16 years ago. Right. Um, anyway, yeah. Not that long ago, but um. Anyway, uh, and that uh, that was the first time I was ever in LA, and um, did, yeah, and then and then I landed here and tested for the pilot, and I didn't ultimately get it, but uh, I met with a bunch of people, and they kept asking when I was going to move out here, which had not been any <laughs> anything I mean, I'd ever really been considered doing. Yeah. Um, but then I started to think about it, and then I thought, well you know i mean it's kind of now or never right i was in my 30s at the time so right right so i came out and uh then wow. i met my partner about a year later and anyway i've been here ever since <laughs> oh and and um and did you ever meet like matt damon or ben affleck no never uh, met them mm -mm. no whoa. i think when I, I, I think when i was touching he might have been um he might have been a part i mean i'm sure he was a part of that he was one of the producers of it but i i never yeah. met him uh -uh. Wow, that's still incredible. Even the uh, even hearing that from you too, like, uh, and it shows even Very today. <laughs> how, weird roundabout way of things coming about in your life, right? Like you never know how things are going to come or how it's going to shape. Yeah, yeah, things align. I feel like, or uh, things happen for a reason, at least. <laughs> mm -hmm. Uh huh. Yeah. Um, and uh, my wife would kill me if I didn't ask you before we get into Dead Space questions, because uh, she is a, a huge Grey's Anatomy fan. You were on oh. the show for like one episode, I think. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm just wondering, how how was it? <laughs> you know what? They are the most gracious people. The people that have been in those jobs for since since the birthing of that show. Yeah. I mean, I think you can go one of two ways, right? I I've met uh, I've met people that uh, yeah, who are a little bit like, oh, grass is always greener. I it's nice that I have this paycheck every week, but I mean, yeah. there's so many other things I'd rather do, and there's a little bit of a chip 
these pe- these people that that were on it when I was on it were they knew how lucky they had it, and so that was amazing. And you can tell too. Yeah, 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 yeah. and uh, so because of that, it was it was it was great. It was great. It was gracious to be around people who really wanted to be there, and it's such a well oiled machine too. I mean, like down yeah. to you know the the you know the the PA like everyone everyone. Um, everyone just knew their, their job and was really happy to be there. So wow. it, was, it was fantastic. Yeah. There was no, you know, sometimes when you enter sets, especially when like in the first season or something like that, there's a little bit of chaos. And I mean, that's fun too, right? But just people are still finding their footing and everything, but this, like, right. it was so smooth. It was just in and out. Train. Yeah. I have to say, like, I love that you brought like your the, your son into the show, like the, in that episode. <laughs> Would you ever go back to it? Like if they were like, hey, we got a, a part for you. Of course. Oh my god, of course, in a heartbeat. Heartbeat. <laughs> That yeah. would be amazing. I would I would totally mm-hmm. run to my wife and be like, look, this person I interviewed was in the show. <laughs> Wait, how, <laughs> what season the are show. they in anyway? That's like what season um 17 or something? I think 18. I think they're in 18 oh my- at the moment. Well, yeah. I know. That's Is crazy. Ellen Pompeo still in it? She's still in it, right? I think so. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I think she's still a part of it. Yeah, and um, and you were also in CSI Miami too. <laughs> yeah, that was my first job when I first got out here. Oh, was it really? Wow. Yeah. yeah. That must wow. have been fun to be a part of that show too. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that, yeah, that was when. Um, oh my god, that was so long ago. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> I remember. I remember taking like the car door smash or something like that, and there was shattered glass that was like little pieces of rubber all over the ground, and I remember collecting pieces of yeah. fake shattered glass and being like this is so cool <laughs> I love this the is... way this looks it's so real <laughs> and i kept them and i found it's weird that you mentioned that what? i just found them that not, not that long ago it's like what is this no way <laughs> and they keep this? <laughs> <laughs> but it's still kind of cool <laughs> no one on set came over and was like why are you looking at that glass <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> yeah right <laughs> mm-hmm. um well, transitioning from, you know, live action into gaming, I mean, I, I have to ask you, like, how how did you come apart for, or, you know, how did you come to the part with Nicole when they first asked? Or did they ask um, you or did you audition? I know I auditioned for it. I was, it was through, it was odd, odd, it was through my commercial agent at the time. Yeah. And, um, I may just say it's kind of odd because usually it's through a, more of a theatrical agent. And, but so they, yeah. they were, they were looking, I think for Nicole, because I wasn't in the first dead space, but they were looking right. for the Nicole to be a bit more, um, um, well, I guess, I guess they were looking for her to, to, you know, bring on the ghost and be a bit more, theatrical I guess with it I'm not quite sure but so um I remember having to just sort of go all out there with with some weird voices and that kind of thing (laughs) um, were you like practice practicing in the car like (laughs) no because I think some of that might have been on the fly I think some of that was in the room I, I'm, I guess so long ago I can't even remember exactly what that audition was like but um but I don't remember having to, re- I don't remember that being part of like something I had to look at per se. I do remember, however, yeah. re- rehearsing it once I finally got it and rehearsing that voice. And um, and <laughs> then I think I mentioned this before that some, somebody else asked me this question, but like, yeah. I remember um, do, doing this, uh, r- running it with my with my uh, with my guy in bed right before I fell asleep. You know, lines for the next day, oh. and like you know, that sort of hissing voice, and <laughs> and then falling asleep, and then I guess unbeknownst to me, I woke up in the middle of the night and sat straight up and said, so- "It wasn't like make us bold." I said something really creepy, and uh, oh. like, and he was like, "What? What? What?" And I'm like. <laughs> Hey, they're 
dead or I don't know. I said something weird and creepy again and then just fell right back asleep. I don't recall any of it, but of course he was up for the rest of the night. You didn't give your husband like nightmares or anything? Oh yeah, I always do. (laughs) Yeah, no, there's been a couple of times where I've woken up and he spends the rest of the night wide awake just like oh my god <laughs> I fell right back asleep so I don't know <laughs> uh, did you like as far as the when you first got into Dead Space with Dead Space 2 <clears throat> did you go back to like the previous game and look at the previous actor's work or anything no uh-uh. wow and I mean okay. unfortunately it's because I don't um I don't I've never played a video game which is awful. That's okay. Well, whatever it is, but it is. I've never. I tried. I mean, well, I like back to like what Space Invaders and Pac Man and stuff like a million years ago, but like you know those aside from that, you know, yeah, I guess, yeah, but totally different system, right? Like the whole me and that. I, I, I tried playing Dead Space 2 at one point when it came out. Yeah. Um, and I think you and said, you I, I just couldn't even, I couldn't even get out of the room. Like, I mean, I, mean, I, I don't, Ah, it took me so long to even just like move the character around. I was like, how do I get through the door? How do I get through the door? And then everything was just driving me nuts. So I had my friend play it for me a little bit so I could just at least see oh. the feel of the of the thing, of, of the of the game. But I, yeah. for me, I would have been in stage one or whatever it's called, chapter one for I probably still now. Still now. <laughs> I'd still be trying to figure it out. Yeah. Hey, that's okay. And honestly, like the way that that you played her in both Dead Space Two and and even now, like just recently, it's like, I mean, you you nailed it, honestly. And um, I I honestly and and my favorite thing about Nicole in Dead Space Two is just like, I don't know. There's like this duality between her. Like I feel like at the beginning she's like really in your face and like you know, crazy, but then by the end, she's nice before she goes crazy again. <laughs> I'm wondering how, how was that for you to like see and, and play as you kind of like, you know, portrayed the role? In two or in? Yeah. In, like, in Dead Space 2? In Dead Space 2, yeah. Like, oh, how was I didn't it? get there. I, I didn't get there at all. I, I mean, I saw her come out as a ghost, but I didn't. I didn't get to the the crazy part. I saw some yeah. uh, when we were shooting the remake, um, and we were in the sound booth. There were a few things that we were referring to. So, um, right. So, uh, they would show us uh, some videos, some some video clips of what we had shot, uh, but not like a few. A few were taken from the exact game, but a few were actually taken from like just like a video camera um, shooting us, like, you know, Gunner and I, Gunner Wright and I um, yeah. in the room, you know? So, Ugh. so, so I thought like that more than I did in the actual game format. <laughs> <laughs> I gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. there, there's one thing in dead space too. Like, you know, you, you almost get to the end and then, um, you know, you have like Isaac has to crawl into like this machine and like you're like you're narrating like the steps that he has to go through, like you know, put a needle in your eye. Oh, uh huh. Yeah, yeah, like when when you got when you were reading that, like, did you know that? Because like in the game, you have to um, physically control a needle that goes into Isaac's oh. eye. <laughs> did you? Oh, I don't think you knew anything about it, but I'm just wondering, like, when you were going through the steps, like, were you wondering, like, what the what this might lead into or anything? <laughs> oh, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. 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 It, 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 it's funny when you shoot anything. Really, it's um, you bounce all over the place, right? I mean, it's never lin. It's very rarely is it linear, like where you just jump from scene one to scene two. So, yeah. so you know, we might have shot that day one. And, you know, and then, and then, so that's sort of the tricky part sometimes is because you're also like shooting in this, it's, it's almost like a, an arena, right? It's like this large, um, empty space right. with markings on the floor, um, telling you to move here and move there. So just, so every time we're looking at things, we're never really looking at anything and, right. uh, you know, we're really obviously moving through these rooms obviously but um 
so uh so so yeah and then and then sometimes like you know when she was a ghost she'd be i i just remember crouching on these these boxes oh and, and you know things like that like in like gargoyle position sort of and right. um and yeah it's 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 interesting so so i think that when when sometimes when i'm shooting or, or filming a scene I just, yeah that's that can be the trickiest thing is like okay where are we in this we're over here okay so what's just happened and what's about to happen and 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 okay and who are you again okay <laughs> you know so um honestly i don't totally remember shooting that because it was what it was like 14 at least 14 years ago right yeah um, yeah like almost 13 at this point or no God. i think it is over uh 13 if i'm not mistaken but uh but yeah, like it's kind of crazy even thinking that way because like your role in as Nicole is just like in that game in particular, like I love the first game, of course, but in Dead Space 2 is my one of my all time favorite horror games. So like, you know, your role in that is just so iconic to me and I'm sure a lot of other fans like um, I think what I also love hearing is like you mentioned that you kind of got into like gargoyle positions. Was Were those kind of fun to do? Oh, it's my favorite. I love being creepy. I love creep. I love creep. Anything creepy is I, I, my 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 walls are filled with slightly creepy artwork. I <laughs> don't see it so much as creepy, but yeah, yeah. My guy thinks they're they're, they're yeah. He thinks I've got creepy too. So I get to do. I love it. <laughs> like ghost like. It's like it's like figures that are there but not totally there. But like just sort of In you know face. dreamy almost. Yeah, they're they're. Uh, they 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 do look like they're from a, a dream more than yeah. you know picture of you or me or something like that. <laughs> um, how, how was it too? Like saying the the iconic line in the game. Make us hold. Make yeah. us hold. Yeah. Oh, I love how was it. it? Well, it takes, that was. Um, well, like the way, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> oh no, no, I was just gonna say that the. Um, the inspiration behind the voice of that because she's supposed to be a, a, a ghost but i i could make a ghost sound however i wanted i i think at the time so um yeah. do you know the uh the 1980s um movie the changeling the horror yeah. movie the yeah, she's got one so the, you know the the character of joseph the right. kid um in the attic so it's it, it, that's my favorite horror movie and that's you know i used to have in the eye like that that is so oh haunting to me and ghosts in general right like ghost stories far more than anything gorish to me is is so much more terrifying so right um i think that was stuck in my head and i think it was sort of loosely based on that that character of joseph the tiny child who was drowning and you tub. You can hear that too in the game, like as you play it with how you play Nicole. Um, <laughs> I love it so much. Um, and uh, okay, and then um, the uh, and then we'll move on to Dead Space remake. I got one more question on Dead Space Two yeah. for you, which is there's one scene that I love so much in in the game. It's when Isaac is like you know having Ellie like he's uh sending her away so that way he can like sacrifice himself basically he gives up and like you know slunks on the floor and uh and then your character shows up there as like kind of like some comfort mm -hmm. um and i'm kind of wondering like did you did you do the mocap with gunner in that scene or how was it like oh, yeah. how was it like yeah. during that that moment <laughs> oh wow um well he's he's fantastic to work with right and i mean as is sanita and uh so yeah it was just it was so fun to just play with them too because that's the thing like with mocap or any sort of film and tv thing is you just work it and you just you you know if you, if you feel that scene uh taking on a new spin you sometimes they'll allow you to play with that as well Right, so you just hmm. sort of like, or, or I, ideally, you organically feel out what you would do. You know, it's not sort of like move here, then move here, then move here, then move here. 
they they right. allow you the space to sort of feel what you would naturally do. And then then you can market after that. That's often the way it works. Sometimes, you know, sometimes it's like, no, you need on this line to, line to land here. And then yeah. you need to crouch down at this point here. But not always. And so um, when we had the freedom to, to sort of play around with that, that's when I think anything is, is best, right? Right. And I'm often your your first often the first instincts are, are are often the best I find. Yeah. You know. And I bet it was awesome like because it, it was you and Gunner's first time doing Dead Space back then too. So um Yeah. Well, I'm I was it amazing to get to work with him even the first scene you guys did together. Yeah. You know? Yeah, he's fantastic. He looks exactly the same too as he did like 14 years ago. <laughs> like, he, that man does not age. <laughs> No, I mean, not at all. He still, like, rides up on his motorcycle and, you know, wearing the... Yeah, yeah, exactly. I think I ran into him one other time in Los Angeles. Wow. Um, you know, sort of, like, probably about seven or eight years ago or something like that. But, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah he's, he's fantastic. I, I, haven't, I haven't gotten to talk to him yet, but... Um... I'm sure I just based on what I'm I'm hearing about him, he just sounds so incredible, both on and off. How do you set. reach him? I mean, he's not he's not on social media or anything like that. Do you have I don't even know how I would reach him. <laughs> I don't even I don't know. <laughs> he's aloof, just like now. Isaac. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Smart man. Smart man. Right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, well, mo well, moving into Dead Space remake for us, like we'll jump forward, you know, thirteen years from where Dead Space <laughs> Two was. Uh, how did you come about it? Like, did it just show up in your inbox one day, and they're like, "Hey, we want you to play Nicole again"? No, I had to, I auditioned for it again. Oh, Unbeknownst really? to me, I was auditioning for Dead Space. I was up in Canada. I was during COVID, and I I got an audition to. Uh, to read for a role in Medusa, the video game, and I'm like, <laughs> and, I, and then I was playing a doctor, and I want, I don't know why I, I I auditioned for. I wonder if it's because there wasn't a lot of doctor stuff in the first Nicole. Like I wonder if that's why. But anyway, yeah. um, I I I did, and then I had a callback, and then I booked it, and then when I first showed up on set to do my face scan or something like that. Um, the, they brought me into a room where the producers were on a zoom call and they yeah. said, I know you think you're here to do the Medusa video game, but you're actually here to do dead space remake. And I was like, wow, what? Oh, <laughs> oh, huh. weird. Okay. Yay. Guess I'm jumping yeah, back in the so, role. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. So, so yeah, it just totally took me surprise um wow. and um yeah well you know and it's funny because like i think somebody had contacted me one of the producers from dead space 2 had said are you doing it and i'm like i i no, i haven't been contacted um and then and then when i walked into the room they were like and then then i was like oh okay so they are doing a roommate oh, okay this is what's going on. yeah 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 <laughs> and uh now i want to see the medusa video game next um <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't even think there is one, right? I mean, every like all this stuff That'd be great. is so, as you know, right? As I'm sure you know, it's so cold, right? Like everything is oh, very, yeah. very under wraps. I mean, I guess with most TV shows these days, they are too. But I mean, video games, whew. yeah, they're hard. I mean, yeah, well, oh, they, yeah. they they want to keep everything under wraps too, because like there's so oh, much yeah. things that can leak, and hundred uh, percent. Yeah. I'm trying to think. I don't even know if when I was sent an email about it with my lines and stuff, like I don't even think they called it Dead Space. Yeah. Just in case I guess people get hot and people get hacked all the time. <laughs> yeah, <Whatever>. right. <laughs> Just in case maybe you were gonna say, Oh, I'm auditioning for Nicole again. Uh, <laughs> that well that and all, even after I got it, I think I it was I was being sent um I don't even know if even then it was written as Dead Space. I don't think it was. That's interesting. I don't, think so. don't think so. Don't call wow. me that, sure. So, yeah. so after after you found out, like, hey, you're going to be playing Nicole again um, in Dead Space remake. How mm -hmm. uh, how did you approach it in your mind? Were you was it like you never left the role, or how did it feel then? Well, it's so much more uh, fleshed out. 
right? The character is so much more fleshed out right now. And then, you know, there's a lot more audio logs and hologram scenes and more time spent with like Mercer and the captain. So you could really see, um, yeah. um, the, like it's so the player can really see who Isaac is fighting for. And, um, so she just, she's, she's far more professional in this one. There's a lot less ghost. In fact, I don't even know if there is much ghost at all in, mm. in this one. And, um, Not till and, the end. <laughs> and, um, so, so it was, it was a, in many ways, it was a very different role, right? Like, it, you know, there's a totally different side to Nicole. And, um, and so right. for those reasons, you know, just, it just, go, I, I just had to re like refresh my memory of like what we knew about her then and what we know about her now mm. and where this is leading. And so just to sort of like map out that journey of, of where, where she's starting and where she's going, because there's so much more information about her now, like what, why, why it's important, uh, what, like what she thinks she wants, right? She wants to cure the ne like necromorph outbreak. Um, to say the right. Shimura, yes, but we didn't know that it was to atone for her failure uh, to protect Isaac's mother, right? We don't know that in Death Space 2. So it's just like filling yeah. in a lot of like detail um, that we we didn't know in Dead Space 2. Well, and, and that's so interesting too, because in the original game, uh, Nicole didn't really get like, because they, they added side missions into this game where you could really dive into her story a little bit more. So, so with mm -hmm. that, I mean, I'm sure you got to chew up the scenery quite a bit because you're walking around and interacting. Mm -hmm. Like, how much fun was that to like oh, get to do great. those hologram scenes? <laughs> oh yeah, it was it was fantastic. It was so fun. I mean, we had some really really great people working on this, right? I mean, some yeah. really fantastic actors, and um, so it's good because you know, like video games almost were like a, a bridge between doing theater and and film and tv right because again like you're in this giant arena it feels very theatrical um and yeah. and yeah i mean the camera's like right there right i mean you wear these head mounted cameras so it's it's it, it's it is it's a it's a it's a combination of the two and right. uh and also you're playing you're not playing like yourself as much or you're not playing like you're playing like a heightened version, at least at times you are. At times, well, when I'm the ghost, I'm playing heightened version anyway. Right, right. Um, so it, uh, yeah, it was, it was, it was really, it was really fun. It's fun when you can also play out a scene in its entirety. Whereas when yeah. you're doing a lot of film and TV, often it's like you know you you're given a, a large scene, but then like you break it up into this like little parcels, oh. right? And um. And in, in when you're doing a video game, often the, you can play out the whole thing. So it's it's great because then you get yeah. the whole, you get the rush of actually living out a scene as opposed to like little bite-sized pieces of it, you know, yeah. where, you, where they reset and then to the other side and then like reset to this portion of the room. And like, yeah, it wasn't. Keep it going. It wasn't like that. Yeah. So did you yeah. like, did you have to like, sometimes imagine things were there like if you're like swiping across the screen or something oh it was 100 percent that there's, there's nothing there there's not even a screen there there's wow nothing. there's air there's air whoa <laughs> <laughs> that's got to be a lot of fun to kind of just it you know is. pretend yeah and again that's and again that's very theatrical right like yeah again um on stage i mean you know yeah, often it's yeah you're looking out and you're looking at what you imagine is there you create the world so that the audience can see it through you and um so in that in that regard it's also very theatrical but and that's, that's what i was going to say too because you know you were in broadway for a little while so like coming here to, in gaming it's got to feel like like being at home in a way too if i'm not yeah. mistaken yeah well it brings all that back again yeah which is nice it's a nice yeah. feeling yeah yeah did, did you have uh, a favorite scene when you were uh Playing as Nicole. Always would go. I love the go. I love the creek. I love being uh, in a gargle position and I love scaring. I've been doing it since I was, you know, a sister. Terrorizing <laughs> 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 him. Jumping what? out of his closet on top of him <laughs> when he thought he was alone in his room. That kind of thing. Yeah. 
<laughs> that that must be so much fun. Did, does your uh, what did you tell your family? Like, what what does your family think about what you've done with uh, being Nicole in Dead Space? Oh, I I think it all sort of goes over their head. I mean, I, uh -huh. I have a nephew, and I told him, and he was he was kind of interested in it. I mean, he's never played it. He's not gaming yet, maybe. Right. So, um, but not yet. And so, but he was very like, "That's you." That's you? Like, yeah. <laughs> and it's funny because I didn't, I don't know if I'd ever even really looked it up. And then I was like, oh, yeah, that, that is, that's me. That's me. Weird. That's me. Look like, at that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just show him the ending to Dead Space Remake. He'll, he'll understand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He was more excited than like my parents. My parents were like, whatever. <laughs> my parents. <laughs> um, <laughs> Well, I kind of want to uh, jump into spoilers a little bit with Dead Space Remake, kind of, okay. um, particularly mm -hmm. at the ending, because that's when, like you said, the, the ghost side of Nicole starts to come out more. But mm -hmm. at that point, you know, players don't know it, because if this is their first time in Dead Space, like they have no clue that she's even dead. Again, spoilers. Uh, uh, so like when you get down to the planet, you know, Nicole's like, I don't know. I, I love that creep factor that you put into it with her character because like the whole time she's with you because uh, she's kind of helping you escort the marker. Um, she's like smiling the whole time. And it's so like creepy and in your face. But I'm more wondering um, <laughs> beyond just that, like when you get to the part, you know, the ending sequence where you're actually, you know, it's the big reveal, like she has died and all this um how did it feel to get to do that moment to you to actually die yeah the suicide thing? yeah um well because at the beginning you don't know about it until you get no. to that point yeah yeah it's it's sort of uh it's a strange move on her behalf right like it, i mean even i didn't not that i saw it coming but like it's such a it's such a weird spin on on her in a way yeah. um because she's such a fighter you know she's such a got such a strong sense of what's right and what's wrong and like she stands up against injustice like she picks fights that she knows she can't win um right you know she does you know despite the amount of danger that she pushes up she's just such a so to actually to kill herself at the end it just seems so like wow uh you you see the amount of or you, i guess you, I, it's a part of me that yeah you know you, you realize what how much like i i guess i empathize i guess with a little bit of um her because you just don't realize the amount of pain that she is holding on to you know um throughout this yeah. entire journey. It's like, you know, you know, in life, right? You, you, you lose a loved one or you lose your pet or you lose, you know, and, and you know, nothing yeah. matters. Like that day that it happens, it's like, you know, you have a can of Coke in your hand, you want to throw it in the ocean, like uh, something you'd <laughs> never do, but you just don't care. You're so angry, you're so hurt, you're so, and, but then, you know, if you're not going through that that day, and you see somebody throwing their Coke can in the in the water. You're like, what an asshole! What the fuck are you fucking? Yeah, what, what is this asshole? guy doing? Right, right, right. But then, but then, yeah, I don't know. I there's a part of me that I'm really empath em empathizes. I well, I shouldn't say yeah, I yeah, always yeah, do, yeah. but like I I try to sometimes look at people going through. They're doing things that I just find so. I don't know. Right. It, you know. Uh, What's the word? Just uh, that I'm just like, that just like, it's fine, you know, so disrespectful or whatever. I just sort of yeah, go, yeah, you yeah. know what? They, they're having a really shitty day. And sometimes you just have a really shitty day. You know? 100%. 100%. So I guess when it comes circling back to Nicole, <laughs> um, I, <laughs> I guess, you know, because you just don't know. I guess my point is you just, you don't always know what people are going through True. Uh, in life. And, um, yeah. I, I guess I, I tend to gravitate towards characters like that. I love playing characters that have this secret that that you 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 might like show little hints of, 
but it's not, but just, just ever so slightly. And often you don't even know what those little hints are until the end is revealed and you go back and like, see it again. You're like, Oh, I see yeah. a little bit of it there. I see a little bit of it there. I see a little bit of it there. I see a little bit of it there. You know? Yeah. yeah. Those are the most interesting characters to, to, to play with. And, uh, that's what I love about it too. Yeah. yeah. That 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 whole dynamic of and I don't know if you know this, but um the chapter, the letter of the chapter of each part of the game actually spells mm-hmm. out uh Nicole is dead as you go through it. No, I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> it's so cool. Like I um that was something in the original game that they carried forward even to the remake. Um Wow. Yeah. <laughs> did somebody tell you about that or did you just notice that? Uh, I think I found it after I played the first game. Like somebody had put it out online at some point. And I was like, oh, yeah, like you go back and you look at the first letter of each chapter and it does and it does spell that out as you go through it. So, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I blew your mind today. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, now, there is something that I feel like kind of connects Dead Space 2 and the remake in a way, because mm-hmm. there's an audio log between you and Isaac that actually mm-hmm. mirrors the beginning of Dead Space 2. Yeah. And I'm wondering, did you have to re-record that those yeah. lines? Oh yeah. You- yeah. Yeah. It was weird. It was a, it, because I, I guess it yeah, because yeah. it's Modem Studios now. I, I wonder if it's because of the rights and everything. Mm-hmm. Um, um, I'm assuming. But uh yeah. Yes. And so I watched that or I listened to it. I guess I listened to it in the sound booth right. and tried to replicate that, I think. Right. It it's so things. good. Yeah. It's so good. Just that beginning mm-hmm. uh, line you do. Like, Hello, Isaac. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> and it was fun too, right? Because like, I think in that space too, we. Oh, yeah, no. I had no. It idea. wasn't. Yeah, I got it wrong, oh, it, but sorry. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> well, just that we, I just remember looking at a couple of scenes that, that Gunnar and I had shot and how much fun we were having, you know, with it, because we really didn't know what the hell we were doing half the time, right? Like, you know what I mean? Like, we didn't really always know where things were going with it. Yeah. And so just being able to play with like being the, the, the girlfriend for a while and what that would look like, you know? So, right. was, yeah. Really. Did- did you take like any was like the, I know that you did the ghost part and everything, but like, did you take any like inspiration for Nicole when you were you know first starting to get into it with the remake or maybe even Dead Space Two? But and uh, I know um, you talked about that one the the horror movie too, but I'm just curious to know. Well, I mean, look, I think that, you know, she works so desperately to figure out what causes the outbreak, right? And then she, when she discovers that there's like these sinister links between like to the to the Church of Enotology. Yeah. Um, my, my father was a political and environmental activist and he, he worked for the Canadian Catholic Conference of Bishops for 21 years and then turned around and wrote a book against him. <laughs> Whoa, that's cool. Wow. <laughs> uh, I guess it's cool if you're not Catholic, but um, right. which I'm, right. I mean. No, I mean, um, that's cool that, that so, he was in that for a little bit too, you know, even though. Yeah. <laughs> so it reminded me a little bit of that, of, uh, you know what I mean? Like the parallels of what that is. And, uh, you, you know, he he was just mostly focusing on the the hypocrisy that he had, you know, um, yeah. discovered while while being entrenched with them for 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 quite some time. He was he was working like for the underground underdog um, mostly. So um, yeah, the Catholic Church was more of an umbrella that he was working under. But he just he just uh, he found a very hypocritical uh, love, <laughs> a lot of good, but also um, the book focuses focuses on a lot of yeah what wasn't good. so good and uh yeah, it's yeah, called yeah behind the minor but so we grew up with a lot of that you oh, know wow. and so uh, yeah it was there was there was a lot of uh, you know my imagine. my dad my dad like yeah and my dad you know he, he we grew up protesting we grew up like yeah yeah um 
my dad would like get thrown into jail for this, that, the other thing, but, you know, wanting to, right, for the publicity and stuff like that. So we grew up around a lot of, uh, of uh, nice. fighting for what you believe in and, um, yeah. you know, having specific um, uh, feelings about someone trying to manipulate the way you're thinking. And, uh yeah. That's in, that's incredible to me because um like just the way you're describing it cuz you know I can kind of feel that in like some of the roles that you play too like just very authoritative and like um I mean that's that's incredible too to even think about. So and like mm -hmm. do you take any roles that you've played have you like cuz I know you've got a daughter at the moment. She's probably uh, yeah. older now compared to like when you first started with Dead Space but like do you take any of your, even just beyond gaming, like, do you just take like your experience as a mom into some of your roles too, a little bit? I think you can't, I, I think it's uh, almost impossible to not se to separate your, your, you know, who you are, right? From what you're playing, especially when you're doing film on TV. It's just so, right yeah. Um, so yeah, yeah, I do, Can you know. Yeah, and I'm sure that that's a uh, that's incredible to even take into some of your own roles as your as your you know. Well, I feel like I'm acting every single day of my life with her too, because she's always about role playing, right? She's always <laughs> like, you be this, I'll be this. I mean, it's from sun up to sundown, always, always wanting to play roles. For her and one day, so, just and, just say make uh -huh. make us whole, and uh... <laughs> I should. You should. I should. <laughs> I don't know See why what I haven't thought about doing that already. <laughs> <laughs> That's incredible. Yeah, yeah um, no, it's amazing. Uh, well, I wanted to ask you um, as a final thing uh, in terms of the Dead Space remake. But I might have one more thing, uh, a couple more things. I don't know yet. But um, in a previous interview, you had mentioned that uh, you, you know, you didn't want to really change too much about Nicole if they did Dead Space 2, like a remake to that game, possibly. But I'm curious to know what if they did do a Dead Space 2 remake, would you be on board to come back? Of course I would. Of uh, course. <laughs> 100%. So fun. I love doing it. Uh, These creators are so fantastic, too. Like Joanna Berry, the creator of this, the writer's brilliant. I mean, what yeah. a mind. You know, Eric, the director, Eric, um, after that, and Moda Studios, Melissa there. I mean, like they're all Trevor, right, who you interviewed recently. It's just such a such an incredible team of creators. So absolutely. Yeah. yeah. It's a, it's amazing what they've done, isn't it? Like it is. It's amazing. Yeah. I mean, I like I say that as someone who's not seen it or played it, but I mean just you know what I've seen and what I what I what I hear about it, and I hearing and reading the intricate ways in which they've woven these characters and the journeys. It, yeah. It's it's a lot. It's a lot of thought goes into these things. It's well, certainly not a pop up, pop down. See what we can make. Yeah. Now, uh, are you gonna ever like you know? If, I don't know if your husband games or anything like that, but do uh, you guys ever think you'll just sit down one day, maybe try your your hand at the remake to see uh, how you do? You know what's awful is they ask me like, okay, what version do you want us to send you of the game? Do you want it in yeah. the format? The format? The format? I'm on my. I don't. Oh my god! I don't. I have no idea what I what any of these are. So I actually still haven't gotten back to them because I just. <laughs> I, I i can help you with that tanya i can help you can you what yeah. would i get which ones would uh, I get? well it depends on what system you have do you have do you have playstation or xbox no that's the thing i don't know <laughs> hey you are okay you're not it's fine because i know you don't game too much um i personally i've got it on ps5 so that's okay. what I, that's a version that that you should maybe think about getting but then you also have to buy the console too so okay Right. Yeah, that's the one I personally like, but I also have it on PC as well. So, <laughs> all right, maybe, all right. Well, I'll write that down actually. Maybe, uh, maybe you, uh, it'll be your way into gaming as well. Maybe. I mean, <laughs> that's fine. <right>? That's fine. <laughs> and, uh, uh uh, and beyond just doing like, you know, gaming and TV, you mentioned kind of at the start before we even started recording, like you make light 
lighting as well. You've got your own business. Yeah, I build, um, I have a, it's called uh, liquid lighting. And um, yeah, I build hand sculpted um, art fixtures, but um, chandeliers and lamps and sconces and just art pieces in general that are uh, made out of um, reclaimed plumbing and are illuminated by hand sculpted glass drops. And um, wow. I mentioned that my father is an environmental and political activist, but his large focus was around water. Right. And he wrote a ton of books about that. And so um, this is, I guess, in some ways, my, my, uh, my connection to my dad and to oh. where we live right now. And, um, but incredible. ultimately stemmed from the need to get a lighting fixture for the place I was living in when I first moved here. And <laughs> I had an idea of what I wanted and then I decided I should just make it. And it just kind of came up very, I was in no way, shape or form expecting to start building these four people, but I did. And I've been doing it for about 14 years. Wow. Yeah. yeah. So I'm building a commission piece right now that is about 76 inches in length. So sometimes they can actually get quite big. Um, that's, that's supposed incredible. to be down some like spiraling staircase. It's a big like you know uh, tubular chandelier. Right. Um, yeah. So yeah, that's what I do. It's my little, it's it, is my it goal. pretty soothing too to like get to make these light fixtures? I like yeah, I love it. I I, I yes yeah, because I am in my own little booth, so to speak, with my own little space, just yeah. me, and. Um, Sometimes I talk to myself. <laughs> I do that too. Or, You're not alone. I mean, right? Yeah. <laughs> I and, work from uh, home. <laughs> and I and I love working with my hands too. And uh and I just love I love it. I love it. I actually took a long break from it for a while. Um because of COVID and also we just went back to Canada for a while and um I don't yeah. blow my own glass, a friend of mine does. Um, but then I had to I was gonna ask you personal. No, I don't, I, I don't like it. I don't like the heat. I can't stand blowing glass. But um, yeah. so I had, I was looking for somebody else to blow glass and that took some time. Um, but anyway, it's just sort of has gently come back, like not in full force. Um, I was with a gallery in New York for a while mm -hmm. and then ended up closing. And um, so, yeah, anyway, long story short, I think I just, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I'm thinking of, of, of starting it up a little bit more now and it was really it feels good to be back there i think i took a break wow. i got burnt out i was making a lot of the same sort of things people were asking for the same sort of thing. i just got a yeah. little bored with it you know what i mean like it was i can imagine thing. yeah um because it's, it's a lot it's hard work right i don't make things that yeah. are dainty and small um unfort in the way unfortunately like you know my yeah. my my uh my guy we're engaged we've never been married but um He's oh, well, my apologies. On. Congrats. Oh, well, no, no, I'm just saying. Um, <laughs> I've been engaged for like, whatever, a decade. <laughs> um, so, uh, but, but he's always, he he wishes I would just take up something like watercolors or something because like I, I need him to help me pack up these pieces. Yeah. And it, it's very strenuous and yeah. But I did a show, I was part of a show um, in, in so LA funny. a couple of months ago and it was funny because I was there to pick up um the piece that I had in the show and uh, this guy was like, Oh, they, you know, I've been looking at this lamp and da, 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 da. Yeah. and um, he's like, yeah, I, I, uh, I, I work around here. It was like downtown. I like, I work around here. I'm in, um, I work in gaming and I was like, Oh no way. I'm uh, I play Nicole in, in dead space too. And he went, <laughs> what? It was? Oh my God, no <laughs> so it was like, the lighting was like, who cares? But he was far more interested in that than the cool thing, which I thought was hilarious. <laughs> See, people, yeah. even people even recognize you outside of that, too. As soon as you say it, it's like... <laughs> well, okay, he worked in the... I think he was in the world of gaming. So, but, you know, but still, it was funny. It was funny. But so go, cool. Aren't they coming out with a roommate remake? And I was like, yeah, I think in January. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hilarious. Do you ever do you ever get recognized in the street? Like people come up to you and they're like, "Say it, say the line." <laughs> no, oh my god, no. From Dead Space, no, no. Yeah, no, no, no. would you would you do it though if they asked? Of course. Yay! Okay, good. I would. Oh awesome. my god, why wouldn't I? I love saying it. Um, you mean? 
Um, <laughs> yeah. like that. Um, so yeah. I would do it. I, 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 I mean, I don't know if they're going to Comic Con this year, but I hope so. Anyway, if they do, oh, I hope it go. Yeah, I hope you do too. Mm. Yep. Yeah. Because then I'll say it like nonstop. <laughs> that would be so cool to, and uh if they go to comic-con and to have you there with gunner and everybody else too um but wait a minute when is comic-con hasn't it i don't think it's I don't past it is. no i got you Not hold on spring? i don't know i don't i'll look it up real quick hold on let's see <laughs> i got you i got you <laughs> uh not until july oh july. San Diego. Well, yeah it's july yeah. 19th I wonder if we would have known by now. I don't, I don't know. know. I that'd be so cool though to see you maybe do a panel or something. I think that'd be incredible. I'd love it. I remember when they first announced uh the the uh Jazz Page 2 and I was I was there for that. And yeah. Um but I was replacing the Nicole, right? And the previous one, yep. Yeah, and you know, people hate that, right? When you replace so yeah they were like and Tanya Park is going to play the new Nicole and I stood up and everyone was like <laughs> nobody oh. really hit but they might as well have hissed they were like they hissed at you yeah, no no they didn't hit nobody hissed okay. like, I felt like there were people hissing there just like oh my god a new Nicole this is hard <laughs> I mean it was so long ago I just like 14 years ago whenever that was <laughs> yeah. you know what though like <laughs> I mean, like, I, like I said before, you've done such an amazing job as Nicole in Dead Space too. Like, I mean, I can't see it oh, and, without you at this point. Oh, so. thank you, but I get it too. I get, I get people get attached to a character. I totally understand that. I, I mean, I thought it was a hilarious. You know, I, I certainly wasn't crushed by it. I thought it was funny, but um, <laughs> yeah, just the look of like horror on people's faces was pretty. <laughs> Oh, they were just they were funny. it would have been funny if somebody in the crowd literally hissed at you though it was like oh i wish i wish that it so <laughs> you would have run out to the crowd and like <laughs> <laughs> yeah i'll show you yeah. the real nicole <laughs> i'll show you his thing yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I, well uh one last question for you here um before we end everything uh tanya will Will you make the fandom whole? Of course, I will make the <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> Tanya, everybody. And uh, Tanya, where can we find you on social media? I'm at uh, Instagram mostly these days, which is Tanya. Clark two two. Yep. Maybe there's three twos at the end. I'm not sure. Two two or two two two. Something like that. Okay. Um I'll put it I'm on screen on too. Twitter. Okay, thanks. And I'm rarely on uh I'm rarely on any of it, honestly, but like but if anything, I'm on Instagram. Oh, you days. know what? Before we go, I got one more question. There is an Instagram yeah. post. And I thought it was just so like, I don't know, creative or just, it just made my day just looking at it. It's a picture of a foot and it just says, <laughs> it just says, take care out there. And then it says, hashtag footy. And I'm wondering, is like footy a character? Or? <laughs> was that the little with, they, with the little faces on the toes? It was, I'm looking at it right now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're hilarious. Um, no, it's not a character. I just like that picture too because I thought it was hilarious. Okay, I thought for some odd reason I thought you took a picture of your feet and you're like, I'm gonna make this into art <laughs> today. No, I no, I found that picture. I think I found that picture, and then I did that on my daughter. Oh, that's but great. that isn't but that isn't her. That's not her fun. Oh yeah, I know. No, no, that was just like that was a. I don't know where I found that picture, but that was. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it was funny. Eh? I like that. <laughs> I love that of all the pictures, that's the one you zeroed in on. Yeah. I mean, you got some incredible pictures out there too. And now I also see the lighting fixtures, which you guys can check out on Tanya's uh, Instagram too, because you do have your light fixtures on there with you. And yeah, it's just been a while, so they're kind of like lower down on the thing. But yeah, yeah, yeah. and and uh, I mean, Tanya, I just have to say on behalf of Dead Space fans and even just you know. 
I'm a, I'm a fan of yours. And uh, oh, I appreciate that. This is sweet. <laughs> Thank you so much. We live in such a void these days, right? With like, you know, just everything being social media or everything being, you know, yeah. um, self tapes. You just such an inward world. It's nice to it's nice to connect and hear that. So thank you. And I hope I hope we go to Comic Con and I hope I get to meet some of the people out there. That'd oh, I hope I get to meet you in person. I'm gonna be very no sick. <laughs> oh, can you please? Can you please? Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, everybody. Yeah. Thanks for tuning in. Bye, guys. Thank you so.